Adriano, welcome to our series of trade show reports outside of a trade show. Hi, Rob. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. It's been a while. How's things with you in Italy? Is everything well or as well as can be? Well, uh, it could be better, but uh, we are keep on going. <laughs> we are keep hey. on doing our, our job and yeah, not bad, not bad. So we both have within our hands today uh, the Bellicissima. Can you tell us yeah. a bit more about this shoe, which I've just had a quick look through, but you've got all of the expert knowledge on. Yeah, well, Velocissima is the latest approach shoe from Dolomite. And the idea behind was to make it uh, compact as an approach shoe should be and lightweight. But at the same time, approach shoes must be durable um, because you are using the shoe in a rocky environment. So they, they must be sturdy and durable, especially on the two area. And they must be precise as well, because if we think to go walking on a rocky trail and standing on a hedge, um, going up to a cliff, so it must be precise as well. Um, altogether, it was a good task, I think, for our designers. Uh, if we have a look at the shoe, uh, the upper, this is uh, um, something we used also last year. It's the so-called uh, woven technology, pair pair. So it's an Italian technology. Um, we use a, a modern loom to weave two yarns um, uh, on the loom and to make this upper, which is uh, breathable on the upper part and more uh, uh, resistant on the low part. Um, actually, the two yarns are polyester and polyurethane and they are woven together. So having looked at this, the first impression was nice and breathable for a warm day. But the other benefit from a UK perspective is uh, when your feet definitely get wet, because all of our hills at the moment are very wet, uh, they dry really quickly too, which is another benefit. We, yes, yes, exactly. Um, if we look again at the, at the upper, um, the constructions here is all elastic. So there's a, a stretch uh, sock fit uh, to enter your foot on the shoe. And the shoe um, uh, gives a really nice wrap around effect uh, on, the, on the foot. So um, the, I would say there's a snug fit uh, all around the foot which is uh, very nice, especially when you go up on rocky trails and you have to climb a little bit. You need precision. You need to feel the shoes around your, your foot. When you get uh, shoes that are often too high volume or that you don't, for instance, the lacing comes right up to the end of this. If you can't adjust that volume, it means that you end up with too much. And on those placements, you can feel your feet rocking around and that's never a good feeling when you're, you know, scrambling or mountaineering or the such like. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's the point. So uh, the fit is snug, it's precise, uh, but it's really comfortable. It, it feels like a sock almost. And this is because of the material, which is anyway stretch and, 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 and lightweight and, and light. Uh, but how to make it, uh, we said, how to make it durable, how to make it sturdy on the two cup area. And then the designers here, they went for a so-called double lasting construction. What, what is double lasting? I try to explain to, to our um, people who listen to us. You first um, assemble the shoe on the lasting board. You, you glue the upper on the lasting board. And then there is an additional, a second operation the rubber two cap is uh, lasted, is glued underneath the midsole. It's like a, a Nova uh, construction, which gives in the end a very robust and durable constructions on the two area, but also very precise for, for the two, for the big two and for the two in general. So this is the double lasting and that was the solutions we started to make it long lasting, even on a rock environment, you know. Because the other thing as well, with that, let's say it's an incredibly lightweight 
lightweight approach shoe. But again, the the actual toe box is really, oh, you can see the green screen there. It's changing the color. That's never happened before. Um, the, um, the toe box is really, you know, it's, it's got quite a good, um, like stiff supportive feel. So that if you were putting your foot into cracks and twisting it, the shoe is really light, but it still gives you support, which is a really hard balance to get within a shoe. Because often if you get it too light, you lose all the support that goes with it. This is actually the, the tricky thing when you make uh, an approach shoe. It must be good balance between, um, yeah, um, it must be supporting enough, but not too much, not, not too, too, too much, because actually you also use the shoe to go walking. So it, it must be a compromise between uh, walking and climbing. And this is not easy to realize. <laughs> of course. So I think the designers here, yeah, they had a really good, uh, uh, really good ideas to make it happen. It, it is actually supporting enough on the, on the two area. But uh, at the same time, if you go walking because you have to reach the mountains and you might have a long walk, it's still uh, a very good walking shoe as well. And uh, the sole unit as well as a Vibram sole as well and has a good amount of... Um, Again, one of the other things we find with um, the British climate going back onto, we have a lot of wet grass. And so you need a good amount of um, grip on the sole because it isn't always the rock. As you say, you've got to get to the rock often by walking up footpaths and over grassy banks. So the ability to blend both of those two is, it, it looks great. And I'm really looking forward to reviewing these. Actually, the, the design of the sole was uh, co-made co with the Vibram, as usual, a lot of brands uh, co-developed, but that was the input we gave to, to Vibram. For sure, we need a climbing zone, but we also need good treads because, yeah, this is uh, how an approach shoe uh, could be used, uh, also on wet grass, also on uh, wet uh, rocks. It can happen. So it must have, for sure, good threats and uh, also uh, a, good, uh, a good compound. And actually, we went for the mega grip from Vibram because we believe and they believe it's the best compound for dry and wet surfaces. So that's the compound we used on, on this uh, bottom sole. Well, they look absolutely fantastic. And I look forward to um, a little bit of well, lockdown restrictions easing and the spring coming about and um, getting out and using them. And hopefully by the time that these trade show reports are released, uh, they'll be in shops and available for people to buy as well. So actually, actually, we are following uh, the production. The production is made here in Italy entirely, so 100%. And we're following productions in these weeks, and it will be on, uh, on the shelves uh, around March. Fantastic. Thanks ever so much, Adriano. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Thank you. Look to see you. Bye-bye.